Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Larry Lurcy. Welcome back to the channel. I've got a great video for you today. We're going to be doing another image makeover. I'm basically going to take an image like this and see what I can do to tweak it and make it a little more exciting. I'm going to be using primarily Luminar Neo and a little bit of Photoshop. If you don't have Luminar Neo, there's a link below where you can find out some more about that. But it should be a lot of fun. If you haven't done so already, please take a second to subscribe. You know, I'm trying to reach like a billion subscribers and I'm still like really far off, so every little bit helps. But without any further ado, let's roll the intro. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and here's the image we're going to work with. Uh, it's just a picture I took uh, up in Maine a little while back in the evening after the sun was starting to go down. And it was just these um, wooden pilings, I guess, coming up out of the water. And I liked how they were here with the reflections. And then we've got this little thing of, um, I guess it's maybe it's a street light reflecting up there. And my idea was to go ahead and just take a piece of this and kind of make it into more of an almost abstract type piece and um, see what I could do with it. So that was the plan to try and just use this. And so first thing I'm going to do is crop this a little bit while we're here in Photoshop. And uh, I'm just going to bring up actually a rectangular marquee here. And I think I want probably about like this. Just highlight that. Okay, do image crop. Let's see what we got here. I'm pretty happy with that. Might go back and crop it more later, but for now, I think that's what I want. So, this is what I'm going to work with. Um, I'm going to try and go ahead and get rid of these rocks up here as well and see if I can maybe just copy some water up there. The easiest way to do this will just be using um, the uh, spot healing brush. Cross our fingers. It might work, might not. And I'm just going to paint in all of the shore. See what this does. Not terrible. Now I can just go through and try and get rid of these pieces. Okay, I think that works. We're going to abstract this out just a little bit so I don't mind those jagged pieces up there. I think that actually kind of looks kind of cool with that little stair step going. Alright, so I think this is the image I'm going to work with. So I'm going to make a copy here. Just go ahead and call this Neo. And let's jump into the software. All right, here we go. And let's do this. Let's go into, now we could of course go through and play with some of these presets, but I wanna try and just do this um, a bit at a time manually. So start here in Enhance, and we'll just add a little bit of accent and see what it's doing. I don't know for sure how I want this to end up, so it's going to have to be a little bit of experimenting. That's going to open up those shadows a little bit. I like a little bit of that. So let me bring it up to about 40 or so. All right, I think that works. Um, we're coming to develop. I don't know that we want to maybe lighten it up just a hair. Maybe even open up the shadows just a bit more. Let's see the before. Okay, I like that. I think just having it a little more open and lighter will allow me to uh, play with the colors and things a little bit more. And while we're in here, let's go ahead and jump to sharpness. I'm going to add a little more. I'm probably going to take away some sharpness later, but I want to give it just a little more so I can get some of that wood detail through there. All right, let's look at the before. Okay. Still not great, but don't worry, we're heading heading in that direction. We can check out the structure. I don't know that there's going to be a lot to do with structure if we just boost it. It's not making a huge difference. I've got it at, let's, like, let's go to like 30, 60. There's the before. It's just kind of bringing out more of the detail in the water, which I don't know that I necessarily want because I think I want to go with more of the soft type thing. So I'm going to take that back off. Worth trying, but I don't think it's what we want. Okay. Uh, color, we can try playing with the, maybe bump up the saturation a little bit and the vibrance. 
I'm probably going to shift the color anyways, but this way it'll give us a little more to work with when we do shift that color. All right, jump down here in the landscape real quick. I don't know that we're going to want to dehaze much. Let's see what that's going to do. I think we're better off without it. Uh, golden hour is just going to warm things, which is kind of the opposite direction that we want to go. So again, we're going to leave landscape unused. All right, so let's get down here into some of the fun stuff. Uh, now we've got atmosphere. We could play around with some fog. And I don't know for sure, but I'm going to try a little bit of layered fog and see what it looks like. And then we'll decide whether that's helping us or hurting us. So I'm going to bump up some of that. Let's look at the... It's doing a little bit down here. I honestly don't notice a whole lot. Let's just go to a uh, regular fog. Hmm. I kind of like that if we dial it back a little bit. Again, I'm going toward that kind of painterly type look. I think that kind of evens out things a little bit more. I'll pull it down just a touch. All right, so there's the before. Just kind of bringing that top in line with a, where it balances out the bottom a little bit. I like that. Okay, so dramatic. We always do a little bit of dramatic, which of course desaturates things if you go too far. So we're going to give it a pump dramatic, bring back that saturation. And again, we got to decide if this is helping us or hurting us. This project's going to be a lot of trying things and then deciding if it helped us or hurt us. So there's the before. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to go to mood, which will be an interesting one where we're going to try these different lookup tables and see what kind of a look it gives us to drastically shift the color potentially. Let's bring the amount up so that we can really see what it's doing. Oh, 90. Maybe pump the saturation up a little bit. And let's just try a few, try a bigger field. That's going really blue, which I like. Too much difference there. Try Santa Barbara. It's gotten a little too contrasty. We've lost everything. Genius is interesting. Um, we wouldn't. That's an interesting look there, but um, we've lost all the blue. I'm not crazy about it. Let's try some of these others. Dallas. London's not working at all. I kind of like that Tokyo. There's the before. There's the before. There's the after. I like that. I kind of like the, the blue cast it's giving everything. Maybe dial it back just a touch. So there's the before. I feel like it's really making this yellow burst uh, of light really stand out more, which I like. Let's stick with that mood. I'm pretty happy with that. You can look at the toning, see if there's anything to work with there, but I, I don't think we're going to tone anything on this one. Now, Mystical should be a fun one, and as you know, what this does is kind of gives it kind of a blurry... See if we just push it all the way, almost a painterly type look. Well, I really like that, um, and that's full out. Let me pull it back a tiny bit. You can play with the smoothness. I think you want a lot of smoothness. Let's see what the shadows, just kind of opens up those shadows. Let's look at the before. I think it's a bit too much. I'm gonna pull it back. All right, I like that. I like where this is heading. One more time, the before and the after. Okay, the glow. Now, I don't know if we want a glow or not, but let's try it. Kind of softens things up a bit. There's the before. We're kind of losing a lot of detail down here in the bottom, which I'm not crazy about. So let's leave that for now. Not go with any of the glow. Now, we could add a little bit of film grain just to add some texture, but I'm going to add some texture later on. So let's leave that for now. And let's look here in the super contrast. Now what I want to do, I'd like to get this really bright area a little back under control. So what I might do is bring up this highlights and when I bring the balance, try and push it. 
I just there we go. So it's just kind of darkening down. And that again really makes that yellow jump out, which I like. So there's the before, there's the after. And all we've done is messed with the contrast and the highlights. We've kind of bumped it up pretty drastically, perhaps too far. Pull it back just a touch. But what we've done, there's the before, as you can see, all that white at the bottom has now gone to this kind of light blue, which I think is much, much better. All right, so now what I want to do um, is go through here and actually uh, add a layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some textures in and try laying some textures on top of this and see what that does. So we're going to go over here to our layers and hit plus. And we've got all these ones to come with it. What I've done is I've just got some of these different textures that I use. And um, the way you would add one of these is just hit load image and go to your hard drive, find one of your textures that you use for, for overlays and, um, and grab one. But I'm just going to pick one here. And we want to go ahead and I'll just do stretched, fill up this whole thing. And let's bring the opacity all the way up. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of a textured fabric looking thing. We're going to change our blending mode to either overlay or soft light. And then we can play with the how much there is. Let's see. Turn it off. It's just kind of nice bringing out a nice little grit through there, as you can see, like there's the before, there's the after. You could also try soft light or even hard light sometimes. I kind of like that hard light, actually. Um, you can go with like a difference. These crazy ones really make it go abstract, but I think that's too far for this. But I do like what hard light is doing. So I'm going to go hard light, but then pull it back it's giving me some nice interest down here at the bottom, which I like. So there's the before, and we'll just dial it up. Okay, pretty happy with that. All right. I think that works. Let's add another texture on top of that. I've got this one here that is just basically it's a um, like a, a paint palette with just a bunch of random paint on it. And let's fill in the screen here. And this one might be too much. It might not work. I don't know. But I'm going to try it because I like how it's got all this, these splotches of paint and all these type things. So we'll try it in overlay. Try it in soft light. Soft light might work if we pull it way down. Because it's just going to, what I want to do, here's before. I want to just try and accentuate some of those colors that are in the scene. Try like this. There's the before. Whoops. There's the before. There's with a little bit of texture put to it. Again, before. A little bit of texture. All right, I like that. Let's go ahead and do just one more, like maybe this paper. It's actually kind of a linen looking piece. Let's just stretch it up. Here's what this looks like. It's kind of some, uh, almost some canvas looking paper, I guess. Go ahead and switch to overlay. See what this does. It's gonna lighten things a little too much, I think. Maybe soft light though. Can't do too much. We'll try hard light. Nope. I think soft light's the way to go. So there's the before. Just a little bit of that texture. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we could, if we wanted to, go of course go ahead and save this as a um, as a template to, to go back and do again, which might be worth doing just in case I decided I wanted to try another similar type image with the same type treatment. It would give me um, a, a starting point for something like that. 
So I'm going to come down here and hit save as preset. We'll call this uh, Dreamy Lake. There we go. Okay. So again, there's the before. There's the after. I think that works really well. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Now, before we go too much farther, I want to try and do two more things really quickly. One, um, I'm, I want to toy with maybe tweaking this crop, just taking a little bit off both sides and maybe a little bit off the bottom so that that um, peak there kind of hits right at the bottom. Image crop. I like that. I also like how this one is starting to give us kind of a frame on that side. So I like that crop a little bit better. And then what I want to try is one other thing. I want to copy this top layer. And then um, I'm going to make it into a black and white. We can just do that by um, image adjust hue saturation, take the saturation down. But not all the way. I don't want it completely. So I'm going to bring it down so that there's almost none left. Then I'm going to blur this, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. That's too much. Maybe about like that, enough that I can't really tell what it is. And then I'm going to turn this so top layer to soft light. And let's just see what this does. So there was our before. It's just going to darken things a bit and give them a little more dreamy type feel. I think that's too much. I'm going to try bringing it down to... Maybe about like that. So let's go 50%. All right. So there's the before, there's the after. So if we go back here and let's take our final image here. Oops, too far. And compare it to where we started. I think it's much more interesting. I think uh, it's a total different direction. I think we've just taken kind of something here that's not too interesting and made it into something that has uh, a lot more impact and aesthetic value. Might even crop a little bit more off this left side. Um, but I think something like this would look really pretty printed on some sort of watercolor paper and just put under a mat. And um, But I love how that turned out. And I think that is a, a great evolution of this image and um, really takes it in a whole different direction. Would love to hear what you think. And there you go, pretty happy with the results. I think from where we started to where we ended up, drastic change. I think it's got a lot more impact. It's a lot more exciting image. Hope you agree. Uh, if not, let me know in the comments below uh, what else I could have done to it, some other ways of improving it, or if you love it, then tell me that too, and that'll be great, make me feel better. Or of course, you could just hit the like button. That's even easier to do. But that's all I've got for this week. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.